Ottawa. following program are those other participants and do not, not necessarily reflect those of Rogers, Ottawa or Rogers Community 22. This is the Tom Green Show. It's not the Green Tom Show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. If this was your show you probably like it more than i did that's just because it was your show but it's not your show it's the tom green show 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 Hey, you're watching the show here. Yeah. What the hell was that, Glenn? Uh, is that a whitefish? It was uh, not according to plan, I think. Oh, God. You weren't going to hit me in the face with it. I was going to stop. Sort of. I was going to lean my head over, and you were going to hit me in the back of the head with the whitefish. Sort of. Oh, God. Let's have a hand for our studio audience. Uh, scales in my nose. <sighs> I have whitefish scales in my nose. Oh God, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it had fully dethawed yet either. I think so. Because it was, so. it was Look hard. Look at it. It's, you hit me right in the eye. It's completely right soft. in the eye. Uh, and also <laughs> on the show today, the aesthetics. Is that the aesthetics? And uh, from uh, Bonehead Music, Big Al from Bonehead Music is here. Johnson Moretti from the Eddie Johnson Moretti from the Eddie May Murder Mysteries is here. Uh, Meg Colburn uh, won the worst job competition in the uh, uh, Ottawa, Sun. Uh, Ottawa Sun. And uh, a very special guest is also on the show today. Kurt Browning is going to be here on the show today. Kurt Brown. Kurt Browning is going to be here today. See, after you had hit me in the head with the whitefish, right? Right. 
We were going to pour laundry detergent over my head. Yes. Yeah. That's sort of my head. But see, we, we got so lost in the uh, moment of, uh, you know, of the, f of, of the surprise of that you actually hit me in the face with the whitefish. Yeah. Why did you do that again? Um, you were dancing the, another way that you were supposed to. I wasn't dancing the way I was supposed to either. No. Well, you know. Just, in the, out, just, just sort of in the, in the moment, there was very little planning that went into this part. I mean, we <laughs> told you before we started the show that it was going to be really bad anyways. So, uh, and then what happened was we just sort of did that. But then you hit me in the face. But yeah. then we didn't, and then we just uh, forgot to. Should we pour the laundry detergent over my head, or yeah. anyways, or? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, well we might as well just pour it over my head then, and uh, then we'll go to the first segment. Um, just pour it over my head, and I'll throw it to the segment while you're doing that. Okay. Um, the uh, first segment is um, <laughs> one where I uh, I went over to the Glenn's house. Actually, I went over to your house, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I dropped by Glenn's house. Okay, I'm just going back. We're in the West End here. We're looking for Glenn Humplick's house. I've never been to Glenn Humplick's house before. I mean, I've been to his apartment, but strange as it may seem, I've never been to his parents' house before. It's Sunday. Every Sunday, Glenn visits his parents, goes over for a delicious dinner. Uh, I've known Glenn for six years. I've never gone with him. I've never been invited to go with him. I'm wondering why that is. Uh, maybe there is a sneaky reason. We'll find out. We're going to go meet Glenn Humplick, Mr. Humplick, and Mrs. Humplick, and his sister, Carmen Humplick, right now, as soon as we find the house. Hi. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. How you doing? How's it going? <laughs> Hi. Is, um, no, no. How's my, it going? My, no, no. Out, 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 what are you talking out, about? out, out. I just dropped my mom is sick. Oh, really? And, uh, we drove all the way out here to say Glenn, hi to Glenn. Is this? Is this is this insane. What do you mean? God, huh? What huh? is insane? What's, what's wrong? What do you? This is I'm gonna I'm dead. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah I was yeah. wondering. I was wondering. Oh yeah. I was this was like like my worst nightmare. Well, I've known. Come I'm true. I've known. I've known you for so many years, yeah. man. I thought that you know, I should just come by and say hi to your, your um, mom and dad. What? Hilarious. Go on. Go on. Okay, okay. Go in. Okay. Come on. Actually, no. no come on. No. Glenn. No. No. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna Mr. pay Humplick. for this for a long time. Okay. Mr. Basically, I'm gonna pay. This is Humplick. No. No, no. What do you mean? I, I, what's wrong, Glenn? What are you talking I'm about? I'm going to pay for this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dad's coming to say hi. Oh, yeah. Your dad's coming to say hi. How are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to drop by and say hello. I mean, I've, no, I've known Glenn for so long. Don't, don't, don't take pictures. You can walk up to come in, but don't take pictures. I can take all of these. Oh, are you, are you, are you sick, Mrs. Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Is that Carmen? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'd like to meet you. I talked to Carmen and I, I recently okay. visited Carmen. <laughs> I apologize to you. No cameras. What? No two, cameras, three, he said. <laughs> What's uh, what's going on in the show right now? What is, what's going on? What's the, what's this change with the new season? <laughs> what change? Last year you were always you were always picking on Glenn last year. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. You were always pushing him around, and he'd take it. This year he's smashing your toys, <laughs> swacking you in the face with fish. 
The whole audience here has been coughing the whole break. <laughs> Everyone here has been coughing. Listen to them. <laughs> oh. Listen to them. We're all coughing because we're, get we're getting that soap in our lungs. Yeah. Can't be good for you. Yeah. Well, it I, I think the show tonight is. It's clean. The show tonight is taking a nosedive. <laughs> It's just no. It's not a nose dive. It's, no, it's a neat little change. Even watch some mean Glenn. We could watch mean some of last week's show. Maybe or a couple <laughs> weeks ago we did a show. A couple weeks ago. Is that a TV? Yeah, I have a TV here. We could maybe watch a couple weeks ago show. Uh, is it right here if you'd like? There's, there's, there's a show from a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah. Bring the, can you bring the audio up as well? Oh, Let's yeah. maybe just sit around and watch that. Jeez. Bring the audio up on that. Came through. Okay. And and the only wall wow. that they came that's, through that's was the one that had no wires. Can show. we hear it too, or? Wow. And so he figured, if he can we hear it in full completely back? wired his we bed. Can we hear the show from a couple weeks ago? We'd then they wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah, so he built himself a chicken that's wire Vicky cage Cameron. all around his bed, <laughs> and and left just a little. And also could not get attacked by chickens in the middle of the night. Either. Exactly. Well, you can never that's be too careful. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Wow. You, chickens huh. coming out of your closet. So he built this thing around the whole around the whole bed. Yeah, and then at night he would get into bed. That was a better show. Crawl into the space there and and, yeah. and that was a better show. Easily <laughs> I remember knowing that, that nobody part. was going to get it. I had a feeling that show was better. Clearly you remember that part. We we want to thank people, I think. You and I. Oh yeah, we do. We'd like to thank uh, some friends of ours, some people that came out and helped us out uh, recently. We uh, last Friday night we had a very successful grazing party. Out in Blackburn Hamlet we had <laughs> Approximately what, 75, 100? I don't know, something like that. Unicorns. People dressed as unicorns. And we're going to have another one. And uh, we crawled around in the grass for an hour. Mm -hmm. Didn't say a word to anyone. Mm -hmm. Freezing cold and wet. Yeah, I remember at one point there was a few people crowded sort of around me and someone said, kick them. Yeah, they wanted, to <laughs> they, wanted to, they wanted to get you. I heard someone That's say. That's when we ran away, actually, yeah. isn't it? That's, That's when, when we don't galloped. We galloped away yeah. into the woods <laughs> where your car was waiting. Yeah. Well, I heard someone say, kick them. I really, that, Did you? Why would someone say that? I don't know. You've been staring at some guy crawling around on a soccer field in the middle of the night yeah. for an hour, yeah. and uh, yeah. you're getting sick of him. Yeah. You know, Glenn. Yeah. If someone could get up high above I've the known, apple tree uh, and look down, they would see the burn marks. You talk to the people that on had this on. Yes. Turn that it, was, it was their honeymoon. They came back. They came back. I was telling Glenn that. I've known Tom for a long time, like about 16 years, I'd say. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. <coughs> and he's, he's changed a lot over the last 16 years. You've changed a lot, Tom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this year we can see there's been a change in Tom, you know. But I've known him for 16 years. There's been a lot of changes. I mean, <laughs> in high school, he was a, a skateboarder. Okay. <laughs> and then you changed your name, didn't you? <laughs> you changed, what, what was the name you changed it to? <laughs> what was that? You, it wasn't Tom for a while. You changed your name to another name. I never changed my name. Yeah, you did. You, cha you changed his name. What was it you changed it to? It was Something else. I have no yeah. idea what you're talking about. It was uh, Bones. <laughs> Bones. <laughs> Bones was the name. Yeah. It was Bones. Bones here was Bones. the, yeah, Bones here was the baddest B-boy in Bytown. Yeah. This guy, and he was like chilling with the no, posse. No, no. You were the rap guy of Ottawa. <laughs> Oh, right. you had a song, too. Get a song. What was it, guys? Okay. How did the song go? <laughs> okay. We'll be uh, right back. Check the OR. You like it so we'll far. Right Check back. the OR. You like it so far. Check the OR. You like it so far. Check the OR. You love the OR. Hey, here we go. Ready to kick it off from coast to coast. It's about... We'll be right back. What the heck? What? <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. Uh, that was just a little... We'll be right back. Um, you went on, you saw a guy with a bug on his back, right? Yeah. Derek's part of this uh, new, uh, there's no point even throwing okay. this anymore. Let's just go to this. this uh, th my head's hurting. You're doing that. Your ego's hurting? <laughs> Your ego's hurting? We'll be right back after uh, this thing, this segment we did. Yeah. Well, what would you do if I told you you had a big bug on your shoulder? Oh, no. Nothing at all. No. No. What would you do if I told you you had a big bug crawling on your shoulder? Oh, no. 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 Crazy, huh? Yeah. What, what would you do, though, if I told you? Uh, nothing at all. Nothing? Would you get it off your shoulder? Yeah. yeah. How big would the bug have to be in order for you to get it off your shoulder? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like about the size of a quarter? No. Bigger or smaller? Uh... Smaller than a quarter? No. 
like about say the size of a British pound coin. Do you know that you have a bug on your shoulder? No, no. You have a bug on your shoulder. Why? I don't know, I guess it just landed there. <laughs> do you want me to take it off or do you want to leave it on? What a bug's your shoulder? Yeah. Do you want me to take it off or do you want to leave it on? No, no. Leave it on? No, you sure? Take it off? Yeah. See you left. Oh. Okay, here. Okay. okay. I put it back on your back. Oh, thanks. It's on your back. I put it back on your back. Do you want me to take it off again? Yeah, take it off, please. Take it off again? Yeah. See? Yeah. I put it back on your shoulder. from Bonehead Music. Look at these plastic dogs. Look at those. Aren't those nice? You got toys. Yeah, but you, sell, you don't sell plastic dogs. We good. sell plastic dogs. You sell plastic dogs? We sell all manner of toys. You, you sell vinyl. We sell uh, vinyl. Music on vinyl. Yep. We have a lot of records that people are looking for, and we have records that should be on compact disc, and that's what we're here to talk about. We're talking about vinyl. We're talking about vinyl. Do you want to talk about vinyl in general, or do you want to talk about... Vinyl's a good thing. Why? It's big. You can read the notes. You can see the pictures. It's not like little tiny CDs. But no one buys vinyl. Uh, a lot of people buy vinyl. Your crowd buys vinyl, right? No, 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 no. No, really. They do. Really. Does anyone, does anyone buy vinyl, or...? Really? A lot of people are buying, buying vinyl these days. It's like new stuff? New stuff, old stuff, looking for old stuff on vinyl. Alright. Apparently your mic's not working, so you can use this one, okay? Sure. Is that alright? Alright. Yeah. Um, see, we have a few mics on the show. That's going to be yours. People buy vinyl all the time, Tom. Really? Yep. What, uh, you brought some vinyl in. Brought some vinyl that should be on compact some, disc. Some funny, weird vinyl, though. Should we have a look? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. You brought some funny, weird vinyl. Some vinyl that people are looking for. This is collectible vinyl, though. So where are we looking here? I'll, I'll hold it. Right. I'll pass them to you. You take care. What's of this one? What's that one? These are the uh, mascots for the store, Bonehead Music. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it? Uh, is it? Um, Those are the Boneheads. Those are the original Boneheads. <laughs> but you sell CDs as well, right? Yes, there, Glenn. Yes, we sell CDs as well. Compact discs. Compact discs. Didn't you? Didn't you think vinyl was going to completely die out, though? Never. Why Part is it not going to ever die out? Because people love the records. Can you find that on compact disc, Tom? No, no. What else can you Does find? anyone here recognize let's this swing, album? Let's swing through some of these. Swing through some of these. No. Mr. Haney, Green Acres. Yeah? Oh, wow. Mr. Haney. Who wow, remembers wait. Mr. Haney? Wow. I have no idea who that is. This is a young crowd here. Okay, yeah. Lemmings, I'm National Lampoon. I'm a young a crowd. Tight shot here. Who's this fellow here? It's uh, jo Joni Mitchell. Right That's right. Joni Mitchell. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Chevy Chase. Wow. Chevy Chase? It looks a lot like Joni Mitchell. Al's record collection. Wow. So you now... showing this to the right camera? What's that? You're showing this to the right camera? Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Why, uh, why do you think... Uh, but it's not just, it's not just um, used records that people buy at Bonehead Music, is it? Is it just used? Do you have new records? Is no, we don't new carry releases? new records. We carry mostly collectible albums. Yeah? Old 60s and 70s vinyl that people are looking for. Okay, now... Um, are there are people in Ottawa? Do, is there a lot of vinyl buyers in Ottawa? Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. We're swinging more and more back to vinyl now. People are tired with CDs. Canadian content here. Oh, what's that one? Then? Wouldn't you like to what's, have that? What is that? Lord. Yeah. They can't see it. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Can you see that there? Why do Why don't other stores sell vinyl then? If just there are a few that do, but there's a. Been, 
James, Ke Kit, come out here, James, Kit. James and Kit, come out here. Yeah, I knew there were a couple come of people here Come over here. There's some Star Trek Is this... <laughs> What do, you, what do you think of this here? This is, uh, that? That came out you got, yeah, you got 75 you bucks? Do you guys want to look at that? Wow, well, sorry. You got 75 bucks? Let them look uh, at that. Oh, okay, you can look. look. It doesn't cost 75 bucks in the store. Don't wreck it! I'm not wrecking it. Very valid. <laughs> that's the Transform so Man. That's William What do you Shatter. think of that? You Only six Shatter songs. Space. Really? I sing more than that. Yeah, but you can't sing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Didn't this fellow get married on your show a few years back? No. No, Tiny Tim? No. Yeah. No. That's <laughs> <laughs> not on this show. Right? Richard Pryor? Nah. Wow. Well, that's, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't know all this about, uh... You know Spock's Man from Outer Space? Vinyl. Everything. Vinyl's yeah. a big thing. Didn't, Who remembers uh, this fellow here? Frankie Fontaine. This one's for my partner, Bruce. Hmm. Anyone? Huh. Frankie Fontaine, Jackie Gleason show? You see a lot of, uh... Uh, celebrities in Ottawa? Big Al? All Owl? the time. Yeah? Oh, no. All the time. Have you ever played celebrity watching? As with you, well, I always watch you when you play celebrity watching. Yeah, yeah that was most do want, amusing. Do you want to play with us right Let's now? Some celebrity, celebrity watching? watching? Sure. Does anyone uh, else want to play celebrity watching? Yeah. All right. We've got to close with this one here. Okay, well, let's look at this one here before we go to this. The album you want. Seymour uh, Gibbons oh plays with himself. Wow. Yeah, that uh, that must yeah, be good. That went over big. But I'd like to see I'd like to see the video for that. Who knows? All right, uh, we'll be right back after celebrity watching. Let's thank Big Al from Bonehead Music here. Thank Big Al from Bonehead. Where's that album? All right. And uh, we'll be right back after uh, celebrity watching here. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Are we going to that? Are we ready? Oh, okay. Okay. Celebrity watching. Are you still doing your show, or am I still working? Y your show, or were you doing Baywatch and uh, Night Rider? And no, I don't watch that. How long have you been in town? Uh, months now. A couple months. A couple of months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't understand, though. I've seen you on TV in, in the States all the time. Uh, do you just go back and forth? or? I do, yes. I commute uh, oh, probably about every 10 months or so. <laughs> what are you doing in Ottawa? <laughs> <laughs> right. Holy cow, so are you just taking a break from shooting? or? Yeah. Oh, it's really, it's really I can't believe it's you. Uh, wait, wait, what do you do? So are you taping up here or something? Something for the show? or? No, no, no. no. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> I like the show a lot. Wow, what are you doing in Ottawa? <laughs> what are you doing in town? I'm part of a pop-up. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hi, what are you doing in Ottawa? What? Me? I know. What are you doing in town? I know. How long have you been here? Oh, I, I forgot. I love the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You've been in town. Are you, uh. I'm lost, eh? What's that? How long have you been in town? Aren't you the Muppet that played the sax? <laughs> You still doing the show? Got <laughs> them both? Got them both? <laughs> Fit now that you're off the island? Yes. What island are you talking about? Well, your island. <laughs> Gilligan's Island? <laughs> Sorry. It's, re it's really weird running India here. I can't believe it's you. So how long have you, how long have you been here for? This is really uh, unbelievable because because uh, we were just walking by and I saw you and stuff. I thought I'd come say hi. And <laughs> See you yeah.
you met back there then. Yeah. Meg Colburn here has the worst job in Ottawa. The worst, you have the worst job in Ottawa. Well, it's sure according feels to, like According it. to the Ottawa Sun. <laughs> yes. You wrote this letter, and I guess the Ottawa Sun had a contest to see who had the worst job. That's right. You wrote a letter into the Ottawa Sun. I was trying to read the newspaper, have a cup of coffee, my bosses, as I refer to them, were, I don't know, spit on you. On your letter other says your bosses spit on you? On, yep. On your, <laughs> they make you clean the house and the walls? Constantly, all day long. Your bosses spit on you? Oh, and other things too, but I what else can't do do? say that on TV. What else do your bosses do? <laughs> that sounds like a pretty bad job. Oh, yeah, I, I deserve that prize. <laughs> You've never been hit in the head with a fish at work, though, have you? Um, no, not with a fish, no. <laughs> but your bo this is just kind of a fun thing, though, right? Cause, it was. Because you different. look after kids. Yes. And I thought at first, you, see, the, here's a picture here in the sun of uh, Meg <laughs> looking after kids. And it's kind of neat. These two kids here, oh, there's a fish scale. <laughs> it's a fish scale. On <laughs> oh, I'm poor little Brittany. How's it feel? What did you win? What did you win by winning this co competition? Uh, my husband and I took advantage of it last weekend. We were picked up at 11 o'clock Saturday morning by limo, taken to the Chateau Laurier, uh, which we spent the night at the Chateau Laurier, uh -huh. dinner at Wilfrid's, and we were picked up at 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon via the limo and fun. taken home. You have bet you been it was. In a, have you, you, you like uh, limo rides? Is that fun? You been in a okay. limo before? Nope. No, first time. Exciting? Oh, it was. So it's pretty good having the worst job in Ottawa. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. it's worth hating your but job. Yeah. So, something <laughs> like a, a manure farmer. Mm -hmm. Is it was it a manure, manure farmer? Place second? I'm not too sure. His letter wasn't in the, no. the runner-ups, but, but I had heard there was a manure was a hauler up. that yeah. was yeah. in and there somehow. So what do the people, you look after kids then. <laughs> so what do the people who uh, whose kids you look after think of, of of you writing a letter <laughs> saying you have the worst job in Ottawa. Um, I had warned them all as soon as I found out I won that it was all meant in good fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> and please don't pull the kids away. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you're still in, you're nice to them then, even though you spit on you. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. oh, Carolyn yes. Waldo's kids, too. Yes. Are they nice? Oh, two, they're two super. Kids. Two. Has she got oh, them one. doing synchronized kind of... <laughs> synchronized spitting on my rocks. Synchronized yeah. spitting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations. Well, thank you. I, uh, you know, it's congratulations. You must be really, really excited about having the, w the worst job in the city. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, I'm sure we're all proud of so Meg, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Um, Do I get to say hello to my son? Yeah, Please. sure, yeah, say hello. <laughs> I thought I'd embarrass him. I have an 18-year-old son in grade 13 at A.Y. Jackson. Hi, Charlie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. M mummies like to embarrass wow, their... That's so what do you do tomorrow? Boys. What's a typical day like at work? Oh, starts at 6.30. Okay. And um, so I start by changing diapers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. feeding in one end and Kinda changing like being the, the other. Kind of like being the farmer then. Oh, yeah. Quite, <laughs> yeah. Well, well I, I, I thank you for coming down here and, and telling us all about it. Oh, well, yeah. thank you for. Thanks very much for coming down tonight. Thank you. For being here. <laughs> Meg Coburn, the worst job in Ottawa. I've been hitting the head with a fish tonight. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's not the worst job. No, what's the worst? What's that? That's is that still not the worst job I have? No, you have the worst job. Getting yeah. hit in the head with the fish is, is not the worst job. We're, now we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go look at the guy who has the best uh, job in Ottawa. Okay. We dropped by the the guy uh, Michael Copeland. You know that guy? I've heard. From him. Yeah, we dropped by his house. He's the guy with the best job in Ottawa. And then we'll be right back uh, after this. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back. Hi, we're just around the corner from Michael Copeland's house owner of the new $22 million mansion here on Rockcliffe Park, CEO of Corel Corporation, uh, the makers of Corel Draw. And we're going to drop by and see if he'll let us in to his house for a tour. This is it here. It's the, uh, of course, the uh, biggest home, richest home in the city, $22 million home. My name's Tom Green. I'm, uh, I was just wondering if we could take some pictures of your house. Uh, one moment, please. Yeah. 
Because we, we do a program on, uh, on community television, mm -hmm. and we were just wondering, because we saw a picture of the, of the house in the paper, we thought it, you know, a lot of people in the city might just like to see some pictures of the inside. No, 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 I don't think so. No? No. Okay, well, it's a beautiful home. Pardon? It, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, that's unfortunate. We certainly thought it would have been neat to give the city of Ottawa a glimpse inside the pristine golden walls of Michael Copeland's mansion. Unfortunately, we were unable to do that for you today. Why don't we, uh, you, you want to settle back and watch some of last week's show? Sure. I think we should just do that. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch some of that. <laughs> That's actually about as entertaining as what we have going How on. How to make people like you instantly. I was waiting in line to register a letter in the post office at 33rd Street and 8th Avenue in New York. I noticed that the registry, registry clerk was bored with his job, weighing envelopes, handing out the stamps, making change, issuing receipts, the same monotonous grind year after year. So I said to myself, I'm going to try to make that chap like me. But see, Obviously, that was to funny. make him like that me, I must say part, something nice, not about myself, um, but about him. So I asked myself, it's okay. what is there about him that I can honestly admire? I think I enjoyed that show That is a sometimes a hard question to answer, it's nothing to do with especially it, with strangers. But it. In this case, I happened, it like happened to be easy. I instantly saw something I admired to no end. So while he was weighing my envelope, <laughs> I remarked with enthusiasm, what? I certainly wish I had your head of hair. He looked up half startled, okay, his let's face read this beaming thing. with smiles. Last week during the, uh, the unicorn uh, thing, um, last Friday night, someone shoved a letter in my mouth. Yeah, in the middle and of the And I'm field. starting to fully agree with this letter. <laughs> Dear Tom, you don't know me, but I watch your show every Thursday night, and I have a proposition for you. It's a letter about you, Glenn. Oh, really? First of all, I've noticed that Glenn is not as nice to you as he should be. I believe it was morally irresponsible for him to flip you when you attacked him, not once but twice, because you flipped me a couple of weeks ago. Got him. Morally irresponsible. I also think it was totally unacceptable for him to smash your model airplane. But fun. That you did a couple of weeks yeah. ago. What I am trying to say is this. I think that I would make a better sidekick for you than Glenn does. You could attack me without fear of me fighting back. I would take c good care of your belongings and not smash them into itty bitty pieces. And most importantly, at the age of 16, I am much closer in age to your target audience. Some guy shoved this, uh, this letter into yeah. my mouth. And I'm thinking I'm going to take this proposal <laughs> and I think we're going to go with this. I don't expect you to drop Glenn for me just because of that, just like that. I'm sure there's some emotional bond between the two of you. What I'm just asking for is one chance. Please, Tom, let me be your sidekick for one night, and I promise that I will not fail you. Your hope to be sidekick, Mike Moffat. So I think uh, we're going to ask Mike Moffat to be the sidekick. Should be good. Night off for me. Night off for you, yeah. yeah. I think that's what we'll do. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. You ready to do that? The Tom Green Show has been brought to you in part by The Bear 106.9 FM. When you want real rock, lock it to 106.9 FM. The Bear, killer classic, and the best new rock all day. Ottawa's best rock, 106.9 FM, The Bear. Chicken attack! Chicken attack! At that very moment, there was a loud clucking noise, and all the chickens escaped. They looked angry. They circled over my brother. They wanted to save the little orange chicken. really fast. Look how fast that one's moving. Yeah, that, that's what, what we call fast poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, there you he gonna is. gonna get some chips? He's looking right at you. He's looking right at you. <laughs> 
Get your cap back, uh, Kurt. Oh, sorry There's about Kurt that, Tom. Kurt Browning here. Hi. Canadian figure skater. Hey, you got her, Tom? Here. Yeah, here. Good. I got it here. here. There we go. Here. There we are. There oh, we go. okay, she's a little nervous. So here. why did, you called me up last week and wanted to be on the show, right, Kurt? Yeah, yeah. You wanted to be on the program? Mm-hmm. Why was that? Some, well, I'm in town, like, this week and uh -huh. stuff there, and I'm doing some practicing and stuff. I thought the canal would be frozen over yeah, by but now. But you're not really Kurt Browning, right? Uh, we're just making a little yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, we're making a little joke, actually. Yeah. Who are yeah. you really? My name's Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Is this Mike on? Yeah, it is on. Okay, great. It is on, Tim. Okay. Should I call you Kurt or Tim, though? Have we a whatever, whatever you feel like. Because we're pretending that you're Kurt Browning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll call you Kurt, even though your name is Tim. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to call you Kurt then. Okay. Okay. From now on. Of course. In the interview. But your sure. name is Tim. So we've yeah. established. Does everyone understand then? It's not really Kurt Browning. Right? Yeah. Everyone understands. It's not oh. really Kurt Browning. But we're pretending it is, okay? But we're, no, but we're going to pretend it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, Tim, Tim, mm -hmm. uh, we, why did you want to be on the show then? You didn't want to pretend you were Kurt Browning. I just said to you, you look kind of like Kurt Browning. We could do that, right? Uh huh. Yeah, but why did you want to be on the show? Well, I can't remember. No, no, you, ha you had a reason, though, I think. You want to come on and just talk about, you know, yourself and, and, and your life and stuff, right? Because you, you lead a pretty interesting life. You walk your cat around Ottawa you uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah. I thought you looked kind of like Kurt Browning. Uh -huh. Tell us a bit about your school experience. Okay. Kurt. Well, I'm a leisure studies student. That's recreology. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a study of how, I guess, time off affects people's behaviors. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, okay. it's pretty interesting. Why did you decide to take a course like that? Well, I I want to um, I want to work in uh, rehabilitative recreation, you know, with like people with special needs and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty wow. good, like community centers, and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's really great to have you on because we don't get a lot of celebrities on the show, right? <laughs> yeah. What about us? Um. So when are you figure skating next then? Um. I'm not too sure. Like, mm. I'm going to try to get some time. It's just I'm mm. pretty busy. But you're right not now. really Kurt Browning at all, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're just pretending you're Kurt Browning. Yeah, precisely. You're not really him. No. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is it over now? Or? Yeah. Okay. We're very over. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, segment's over. So we're going to stop this interview now, then, okay? Okay. And now we're going to go into a video, and then we're going to come back and do another interview. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then the show will be over. Yeah. After we've uh, interviewed a couple more people and played a few more of these little videos. Okay. Okay, so Kurt Browning! <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Kurt. No problem. That's great. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Really appreciate that. Hey, no Thanks problems. for coming down. Hey, no problems. It's uh, we'll nice We'll be right being back after this uh, silly video. We'll play the silly video and then we'll, we'll be right back.
Are you not allowed to sell yarn? I'm just, you know, trying to make some money this summer and, and video you think people paper. are going to buy it? Uh, from, from the Eddie May uh, Murder Mysteries, Johnson Moretti and Von Charlton from the Pez family are here. Johnson Moretti and Von Charlton from the Pez family. Hi. And you guys uh, are doing an improv thing. This Saturday night. This Saturday National night. National Art Center. Big improv thing. Yeah. Are improv mania forsooth. We ha yeah, it's like we have an improv show that we're doing with the graduates from the Canadian Improv Games, which is a great, so a lot of these guys know the Canadian Improv Games. Many of the friends have played for, yeah, we got some of that noise for that? Yeah. 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 Avon played. Mom Avon. Charlton! Ah, from the Pez family! The, the, the Pezes will be there along with two or three other uh, groups that we formed and they're going to play and they're also a company of fools which is they take Shakespeare and they twist it up. So you, you guys, uh, you're from Montreal, though. You live in Montreal, right, Vaughn? I do live in Montreal. Yeah. yeah. So you came down from Montreal for the show. I did come down from Montreal for the show. Yeah, you did. see you. Yeah, yeah. Did you see you? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You were saying somebody's angry. Yeah, but... Uh, Your hair's changed color yeah. since you were on the, the show. The reason I'm also. actually... Courtney. Yeah, yeah, my hair has changed color. Yeah. yeah. Mine hasn't. Yeah, no. The reason I'm really yeah. out here right now is because um, Glenn says you're being a sulky baby. Uh -huh. And he's not coming back out tonight. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. So you're you just stuck with me. That. Yeah. So no, did Glenn yeah. actually leave? I don't know if he's left the building, well, but um, we've, we've witnessed but, uh, uh, he's not coming back. Well, let's not tonight. talk about this landmark in, in, in the show, this uh, this nightmare. Let's just talk about about uh, the Marble Works and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we do some murders, so this is yeah. probably what could have happened on this show. Murders. With yeah. that, we've never used a live fish to do a killing, but uh -huh. we've done everything you can do. What we do is we have uh, a group of eight actors, and the people go for a dinner and a show. We kill one of them, and you have to figure out who done it. At the end of the night, you vote, and if you get it right, you win a prize. Okay. And so who? And uh, who writes all this, well, this we, stuff? Well, uh, actually, some of the guys from the old Skit Row group, uh, you know, Dan Lalonde, I've written a couple along with Noel Council, our, oh, yeah. our uh, fearless leader. So we do great work there. We do about, you know, we do a huge number of people every year. Christmas time is maniac, and we have so many people calling in to come in, and we have to turn away lots of them. That's too bad. We'd like to get them all in, but it's fine. Great. Yeah. yeah. And now, how long how long has that been happening though at the Marble Works? Uh, we, we've been there eight years. Yeah. This company's been around 12 years, so we're 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 sticking out. That's pretty good because in Ottawa to stay in business when you're in the entertainment field, I mean, you, you have to do either you have to take a lot of fishes in the face, uh -huh. or you sort of have to really have a. Set you got attacked by works. a bear on Switchback. I got attacked by a bear. My used to be on on Switchback. Well, I was the original Tom you Green. Yeah. Yeah. At that time, and wow. this is 1988. Pity. I was the host of Switchback, and the first day we were doing the show. We invited the Moscow Circus, but see, those guys have no concept of time, right? Uh -huh. So the night before, they're up in the, at the Civic Center, hey, tell you, tell you, do so they had bears. Okay. So at 10 minutes to 11 on a live show, what were they doing? Well, bear stuff. The bears were, bears were walking around on bulbs. What was the sound they were? Bulbs. What was the they sound they were? They were? Whatever they, I don't know, okay. you know, or something. Okay. And so these guys, That's they don't speak sound. English. They brought no interpreters, uh -huh. and they didn't tell us what you do when there's a bear in front of you. Uh -huh. But uh, I had to do something, so I reached out to shake the, band's hair, the, the bear's hand, and of course, it just about took my hand off. It just Yikes. Like, uh, on, you know, off camera, it was like <laughs> It was real Bruce Lee stuff, so the rest of the show was like, hey! Well, had the hand hit What me. did it do? It cut. It went, Here, hold out your hand. Yeah. It went Ow, oh, jeez, okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That, Again? That's you try nice. me. That's kind of nice. No, I kind of like it when you did it to me, actually. Okay, fine. Yeah. He's going to do it to you. He's going to try his. Okay. He's going to do the mm. bear that did to me. I have no bear. idea what we're doing. Be right. the bear on I have no idea what we're even doing right now. Yeah. So when's the hand. improv game is tomorrow? And you're going to be at the improv games, right? With the yeah. Pez family. I am going to. You're going to be, be doing some some funny jokes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hilarious jokes. Yeah, some hilarious jokes. What kind of jokes yeah. are you guys going to be doing? Uh, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a scene. She <laughs> she will be doing a scene uh, along with our players, like yeah. team players. The Pez family. The, the, and the worst date in the world will be one of the scenes. Okay. The yeah. best date in the world will be one of the scenes. Is all I think. And then there's two other troops. Two other troops that are going to also do. Who are the other troops? Uh, um, Crystal Basement. They work out at Peter's Pantry in the West End. They're excellent. Okay. And a group called the Canadian Improv Games Alumni Corps. That's all sort of the older guys that graduated out of the program like and that want to come back and just do it again. So uh, we're so at the studio. Veterans. 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 Like okay. like almost some of them are like 20 years old. 
Oh, wow. Like, really, the older guys. Really, yeah, yeah. They're really up there. This is a big deal among the students, right? Huge. We bring high schools from all across Canada every spring to the NAC. We fill up the theater with, we, we sell a thousand It's a huge deal for, 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 huge. for people that are involved in improv. Yeah. And, and the, best city, the best city is Ottawa for it because we have the champion from Canterbury High School. Six years in a row. This year, Francis Lieberman from Toronto took it over. But who knows, Canterbury may be back or other Ottawa high schools or other schools from all over. We had them from Newfoundland. We had them everywhere. So it uh, nah. sold out, you said, right? This Saturday night, um, there may be a couple of tickets left. Show up at the, at, at the studio. We'll see if we can get you in. Okay. Yeah. Anyone going to go? Anyone going tomorrow? Six bucks. Anyone already going? <laughs> Six bucks or maybe some freebies. We'll give we'll give out some uh, some uh, tickets. Up. Oh, there's someone going. Oh, great. See you. I, later. Uh, wow. Well, um, that that's cool though. Kay. That's cool. It was on YTV before, right? Is, yeah. This one is this one being broadcast? No, on? this one no. won't be a broadcast. No. We won't. Our biggest one is in uh, this year is in March, and then uh -huh. we broadcast that one. This this time it's going on satellite across the universe, I think. Wow. I don't know where it goes, but all over like North America. It's well, huge. Well, it's thanks. Huge. Thanks for it's coming. It's big down. like moi. And check out uh, Eddie. Uh, uh, yeah, at the Marble Works. Wait, who's Eddie May? Anyways, we uh, that's know. our private detective. Like okay. years ago, we said we need a name. We got a Eddie name. May Murder Mystery. Yes. Okay, and that's at the Marble Works uh, yeah. every uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday night. Um, Johnson Moretti is here, everyone, and th thanks Thank for coming you. on the show. <laughs> Von Charlton from the Pez family. Um, we'll be uh, we'll be right back. We're going to go to this uh, segment that kind of sums up the entire program this evening. It's called Crappy Actors, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> Crappy actors. Crappy actors. You know what the funniest thing about Europe is? What? Just the little differences. I mean, they got the same stuff over there they got here. Just there, it's a little different. Example. All right. Well, you can walk into a movie theater in Amsterdam and buy a beer. And I'm not just talking about no paper cup beer. I mean a glass of beer. And in Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. You know what they call a quarter pound with cheese at McDonald's? Oh, they don't call it a quarter pound with cheese? Oh, man. They got the metric system. They don't even know what a quarter pounder is. What do they call it, then? They call it a Royale with cheese. A Royale with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> a Royale with cheese! And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and Furious anger! Those who attempt to poison and destroy my royale of cheese! And you will know my name is Simon! Cause the things I draw come true! <laughs> Glenn's really mad at me. Glenn's really mad at me. So Vaughn's gonna. We were gonna uh, have people call in to talk to Glenn, but people, people, did people call to talk to Vaughn? Do we have anyone on the phone? Yes. Be really bad if no one called to talk to you. Yeah, I did come all the way from uh, Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Is there someone on the line now? Not right now. No, no. Okay. Well, as soon as there's someone on the line, say hello. Okay. <laughs> hello. Oh, is there, did no one phone? Is that what? Did no one phone for Vaughn? Is that what it is? People. Oh, they have to switch it. Yeah. Yeah. That takes a while, eh? Yeah. 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 It would be, I think probably no one phoned to talk to you. Yeah, probably no one phoned to talk to me. Yeah. That's you fine. Do you feel sad about that, or? No. No? No? <laughs> Angry, or? No. No? Do you think you should maybe ask people out there to call for you, or? No. No? <laughs> I don't care. Do you have any friends that might be watching that might call and talk to you? No. No. Is there anyone on the phone for Vaughn? Oh no, she's <laughs> so no one's so no one's calling to talk to Vaughn. Oh well, just put put. Oh, there's someone. Hello. Hello. Hi, how you doing? All right. You're calling to talk to Vaughn, right? Yes, I am. What took you so long to call? Uh, they had to call me back. It's like pizza delivery. What? They had to call it's like me pizza back. Pizza delivery. They phoned back. Okay. So what did you want to talk about? Um, actually, I want to ask Vaughn if Ross Henwood was still on the team. Ross Henwood? Yeah. No. Pez family? No. No. 
Uh, where are the most of the people from the that team That was from? about um, a year and a half ago that Ross Henwood was on the team, so thanks for asking ah, that. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Is I'm not even friends with Ross Henwood anymore. She doesn't even know <laughs> Ross Henwood! <laughs> no, I don't even know Ross Henwood either. <laughs> okay, is there another caller? No, throw the band. Oh, okay, we're going to throw the band. Is it, I, I, I want to explain something to you, the home viewer, right now, okay? I, I really... I, I want to explain something to you. Glenn is gone... Glenn is mad at me. I'm mad at Glenn because he hit me in the head with a fish, and he wasn't supposed to hit me in the fed, head with a fish. I'm upset. Glenn is upset. The show, the, 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 I'm really, really upset about this, okay? And I want to apologize to you, the viewer at home, because it wasn't supposed to happen this way. I'm going to go find Glenn. Hopefully, he'll be back next week. We're going to go to the band now, the aesthetics, okay? And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Damn, white fish caused all these problems. Listen up, I've got some good news for you all. It's going to be time very, very soon for you all to get back to work! Sitting here, I'd like to apologize for Tom uh, for not being out here right now. We're having a crazy show. Um, Tom's left the show. Glenn's left the show. Glenn right now is on a bus going to uh, his house downtown. 
Uh, it seems like there's uh, a rift. Glenn thinks Tom's angry at him. Tom thinks Glenn's angry at him. Outside, there was a little a few fisticuffs. Um, there were some uh, mean words. I'm, I'm not joking right now. This is a serious part of the show. Let's not, you know, we, we do have a lot of comedy on the show. We try to, but it's also there's some serious parts of it right now. And uh, right now, uh, Glenn and Tom aren't talking to each other. So uh, I'd like to apologize on behalf of this empty chair, <laughs> and the man who usually sits here, Glenn Humplick, and the guy who obviously usually sits here. This is the Tom Green Show, and Tom Green's not even in the building right now. I mean, look, look at the font. Look at the, look at the words across the top. Tom Green Show. Uh, I'd just like to apologize. I, my name's Derek Harvey. I'm, uh, I'm one of the writers here on the show. Um, Tom just uh, bumped into me, pushed me up against the wall and said, go, go say goodbye for me. Go finish the show. So I don't know what's going on. Right. That's the show. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone, for coming. Here's the band to say goodbye. Not necessarily reflect those of Rogers, Ottawa, nor Rogers Community 22.